Quick Measure on Screen will help you to do your takeoffs from a CD, a PDF file, or any digital blueprint that you have downloaded from an online plans room or it's been sent to you by email. You do your takeoffs directly on screen simply by using the mouse on your computer to click around the blueprint image displayed on your screen to do your takeoffs for square footage, linear footage, and item counts. Quick Measure on screen will help you take off any blueprint image in any digital file format, a PDF, a TIFF, bitmap, in whatever format the original blueprint was scanned. There is no digitizer equipment involved and no paper blueprints. You're simply using the mouse on your PC to click around the blueprint image on the screen to do your takeoffs for square footage, linear footage, and item counts. Quick Measure on screen will work fine in Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7 and does not require any special computer hardware, although we do recommend a larger monitor from 24 to 27 inches. Quick Measure on screen will work fine for all building trades except for earthwork. If you have an interest in earthwork cut and fill takeoff on screen, please call us at 1-800-731-3038. What you're looking at on the screen right now is a sample Excel spreadsheet for doing landscaping takeoffs. This is a simplified version of an Excel spreadsheet, but it's meant to represent how you would use the Quick Measure on screen software along with your own Excel spreadsheets that you've already set up for yourself to do your takeoffs. Quick Measure on screen will work by itself or it also works along with any other uh, Windows uh, program, but we strongly recommend that the best way to use the Quick Measure on screen product uh, is directly along with the Excel sheets that you've already got set up for yourself to use. Quick Measure on screen will work with all versions of Excel. This happens to be Excel 2007, but it works great with uh, the older versions of Excel Office uh, 2000 or 2003. Um, the way this works is when you load the Quick Measure on screen software onto your computer, you would then open up your Excel spreadsheet and you'll see an added menu come up here at the top. So if you click on that, what that does is that brings up the Quick Measure menu over here on the left and also the takeoff buttons here which allow you to do your takeoffs off the PDF files on the screen. This button here is for measuring items by the linear foot. This button here is for doing square footage takeoffs. This button here allows you to measure linear footages in sections or segments which would be good for like irrigation pipes or trenches for instance. This item here allows you to count items off the PDF uh, drawing. And this item over here, this icon, is the lookup icon. It allows you to go back and take a look at each and every item that you've taken off of all the PDF files. All the quantities are then stored directly back to your spreadsheet here, so you have a, a direct uh, link to every uh, takeoff item that you've done on all the various PDF sheets. Now, when we go to do our takeoff, we're going to be working in our quantity column here. We can take off one item at a time or a whole series of items. And we'll go out here to our Quick Measure uh, menu here, and we'll select for Manage On-Screen Images. And then we'll use the Add button here to go out to a, a CD or a, you know, a CD that somebody sent to you that has a lot of PDF files on it, or maybe some Windows folders where you've downloaded uh, some PDF files from a plans room, or maybe uh, some, somebody has emailed you some PDF files as well. So you would store those in uh, various uh, Windows folders and make bid folders out of them here. So we happen to have a landscape plan here, so we'll open that up. And uh, here we have uh, two PDFs um, in that bid folder here, and we'll open those up. Now, you can work on as many PDF files as you need to. You could have 15 or 20 different sheets that you were working on at the same time, and that makes it uh, real handy to flip around various sheets in case you need to look up some specs or some details and that sort of thing. So to do our takeoff here, we have our uh, cursor position in our quantity column, and we'll go up here and hit the takeoff buttons. And what that'll do is that'll bring up the quick measure on screen, uh, the, the main screen of the program here. And it'll also bring up the, uh, the two PDF files that we selected from that bid folder there. They will show up in a tab format along the, down along the bottom here. We can also, by the way, rename any of these uh, PDFs as they came over because as a lot of estimators know now when you get these PDFs off of these CDs or whatever a lot of times they don't even bother to include any descriptions uh, on any of the drawings so all you can do is uh, right click on any of these and you can rename uh, any of these PDFs and that makes it that much easier for you to go around later if you need to flip around various sheets you can uh, just click on the tab and it brings that sheet up right, right there for you so uh, for instance if we wanted to work on let's say um, We'll bring up this landscape plan here. Now what you're looking at is a, a full sheet uh, that has been scanned in. It's been scanned in vertically, so we use the rotate image button up here to 
swing that back around so we can take a look at it. Now you have a full sheet here on the screen. In terms of screen handling features, we want to make sure that the estimators, uh, when they're working on a, a digital plan like this, a PDF, uh, make sure you get a really clear, concise view of what you're doing so you don't miss items or get confused. So you have some really good screen handling features here available to you. And one of those is the scroll wheel on your mouse. When you hit the uh, that, uh, that wheel, you'll notice how you can zoom in and zoom out uh, very quickly and easily. You can also use the uh, right-hand mouse button here brings up a, a grab utility here, which allows you to very nicely, very smoothly look around the drawing here so you can get a good, good clear view of uh, what you're looking at here on the plan. If we need to scroll back out, we just use the scroll wheel here and we'll, we'll do that. You also down in the lower left here have a full sheet view. In okay, case so if you're zoomed in like this, you know, you need to see the lower right corner, you just click there, or the upper right corner, you click there, or... Uh, maybe some specs over here, some notes you click there. So it just gives you, these screen handling features give you a really, really clear and concise way to make sure you're getting a real good look at this PDF uh, sheet we're working on here. Now, uh, you estimators that have used digitizers through the years uh, know that we have to apply a scale uh, to the drawing before we can start doing our take -off. So what we'll do is we'll zoom in on a... Uh, on the graphic scale here. Uh, it, it's always good to use a graphic scale or a known dimension line somewhere on the drawing. So we'll find that and then we'll use the scale uh, button here in the upper left hand corner. We'll click on that and to apply a scale to this PDF sheet we'll simply click on one end of the uh, graphic scale and then click on the other end. Go up here use the OK Done button up here at the top center and we'll just type in that that represents 20 feet. That distance is 20 feet on the drawing. And so we have 20 scale drawing and you'll notice that, uh, that we'll now retain uh, that, uh, that scale force. If you uh, look at the lower right hand corner, you'll see that the, uh, the scale here is 19.87. So that actually is 20 scale drawn. Now to do our takeoff, uh, we can start with any of these items here. You notice they came over from our, our original Excel sheet that we were working on before. So all these descriptions come along with us. We're going to do an area takeoff, and uh, just like it, like you would use with a highlighter, you can apply a certain color to uh, particular uh, items that you want to take off. And the way it works is if you want to take a square footage measurement, you just simply use the uh, your mouse, and you kind of just kind of click around the area that uh, that you want to measure here. And you can uh, trace with your mouse, or you can uh, just go click, click here, like we're doing here. And uh, you can go along, you can do multiple areas here if you want to go along. Let's say you want to start around the perimeter of this area here. And where it's straight, of course, you just need to click once and it'll draw a straight line for you. If you need to go around a, uh, a large area, you notice the color that we pick, by the way, will kind of trail along behind us. And we'll just go along here and maybe we'll do this area right here. We'll show you how this whole thing works. So you just kind of go along here. And you're really just clicking with your mouse. And then if you want, you can kind of come back up. You can zoom way in if you like. It just depends on really what kind of view you want to get of the drawing. You notice that the uh, the colors kind of trail along behind us here. And we can kind of come up here. And we're just clicking with our mouse here. You can also, as I mentioned before, do a trace if you'd like to. And then we can kind of come back up. Come back around. And there's our takeoff of those two items. If we kind of back back at, you can see how we've marked up the drawing so far. Now that is marked up here and can be printed out on a, on a sheet of paper, or you can store that back to the original uh, file, the Excel folder. So what happens when we do the takeoff and we hit the OK Done button, you notice what it does is it'll drop that quantity directly back to that cell of the, of the spreadsheet where we originally were doing the takeoff here. Now if we need to see that again, we can just click on the, on the lookup icon there at the top and that'll bring up that particular item that we took off of that particular uh, PDF sheet. You can also add additional errors from additional PDF sheets and they will all be uh, accumulated back to the original uh, cell of your spreadsheet. Now if we need to do some more items, let's say we're going to go back again. We had another takeoff button here and uh, we can go back uh, to the same sheet if we want to maybe we'll do some sodding or whatever and of course in that case you can you know change the uh, the color of the uh, of the uh, area that you want to work on here for different types of material. And in that case you can just kind of come in here and uh, you know pick an area to work on. We can kind of zoom in here a little bit. And let's say we wanted to go along here and do a, some sodding takeoff or whatever. We just kind of, again, just like we did before, we just sort of click around. And you notice, of course, it doesn't really matter what the, uh, what the shape of the, uh, the image is. 
Now we just kind of cut this off here just to make it go a little quicker for the purposes of the demonstration here. You guys get the idea of what we're doing here. So we just kind of come back around to where we started. And there's your, there's your takeoff there for the siding. Again, of course, if we hit the OK Done button, you notice how it directs that quantity direct, directly back to that cell of the, uh, of the original spreadsheet here. So if we need to see any of these, we just highlight those, go back to our uh, Quick Measure on-screen uh, program here, which directs us back to the original PDF, and there it is. So everything is nicely organized back to your original spreadsheet as you go down and you uh, take off each one of these items in turn. You can do different color codes and that sort of thing. You can also do, of course, linear footage measurements, and you can also do counts off the, the drawing as well. But everything is related back to the original spreadsheet where you did these takeoffs. Now, for a more detailed uh, demonstration of the Quick Measure on-screen takeoff, uh, please feel free to call us at 1-800-731-3038, and uh, you can even send us some PDF files, and we'll do a takeoff for you right online, right on the Internet here. Uh, or we can even use one of your sample spreadsheets as well, and that way it give you a really good idea as to how the Quick Measure on-screen program will work for you. Once again, we appreciate your time, and good luck on those bids.